it's Wednesday night and I'm going to try to do my little vlogging situation because everybody want to do vlogs nowadays and I can understand. I ain't gonna be doing a lot though for today though because it's late. It's like 11 11. Ooh, I gotta make a wish. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is gonna be my first vlog like officially not what I cut for Instagram and then stitched together but like an actual vlog. It's weird. I'm trying to figure out where the camera is. Like I'm looking my little viewfinder but i guess you guys are here so yeah i really don't know how these things are supposed to work honestly oh my god um but today was a lot i did quite a bit i sent some emails some introductory brand emails i edited like three different posts for the blonde misfit and also got my notes together for the podcast episode which i'm gonna shoot tomorrow and what else did I need to do? I, I did a lot. I did a lot. It feels like I didn't do anything. Um, but I always feel that way. So, yeah. I'm so disgusted, guys. Look. I don't know if the camera's gonna show you. Maybe I'm too close. Am I too close? No. Did you see that? It's a dis pimple. And oh my god, I've never had a pimple on this side of my face before. This is stressful. I'm like, oh my god. My whole skin is going high wires. It's probably close to the time of the month. But yeah. So, when I... I'm working on stuff I literally just put it all in my little handy dandy notebook and cross it off I don't I wish I was more organized and stuff like that but oh I had to consolidate some checks all right finally got paid your girl finally get paid I love we love brands that actually pay on time because some people they be bugging but right now I am heating up some food y'all probably just heard the microwave go off I'm still hungry and I'm watching a little horror movie and I'm honestly just looking at things online because I don't feel like doing this work but I'm gonna try to go to bed at a decent hour because I gotta get up brand early for work tomorrow and yeah really that's it like today was just a really simple day oh today i also went to the press event for the sephora accelerator program so if you guys did not know sephora does an accelerator program every year where like up and coming and emerging brands that are already doing good stuff can partner with sephora and essentially go through this program and at the completion of the program their stuff is sold at sephora which if you are a beauty brand in any way shape or form that is a huge deal to get placement in your product on the shelves and so i went today and got to hear from a few of the brand owners and just celebrate them um this cohort was specifically focused around like women and like people of color and so it was just really really amazing and inspiring to just see these brands that like don't put me at the back but they put me at the forefront of things and of their thinking and of their marketing it was really nice to just kind of be surrounded by that for a second so shout out to all the brands so dang microwave all right my microwave is calling me so oh let me take my fork i mean my spoon mm. you guys all of these are packages that I've recently unboxed I need to unbox and throw away my boxes because I try not to keep my boxes in my house for too long you guys see how the lighting changes I hate the lighting in my kitchen um it's that light I've asked the super to come change it he's like okay I'm like seriously this is my Naruto shirt hope you guys like it Ooh, hot 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 anyone who tells you that after you make a certain amount of money that you don't need struggle meals anymore is bugging look i love me my little stofers and my little heat me up ramens and all that stuff so i'm just stirring it up a little bit mm, so good i'm gonna put it back in the microwave for like another like two minutes but yeah that's really it guys it's a really 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 chill wednesday my groceries came i put myself on a no spend june so essentially i'm not allowed to buy anything clothing wise and all that stuff for the month of june and don't y'all know that as soon as i said that the net porte sale happened and things that i've been wanting for a very long time are now available 
So I'm gonna pray about it because <laughs> I just want God to like intercede on my behalf. I'm like, Lord, give me some more money so I can spend that. But honestly, I have, I do have to be better. I just have to be better altogether. So yeah, that's really it. Today was a simple day. Tomorrow's gonna be simple too. It's probably gonna be the same thing. The only thing different is I'm recording the podcast and just publishing content, but I probably won't write anything. I do need to write my email newsletter though because I have been slacking and one of my goals is to make sure that I am consistently putting that out once a week. So yeah. Oh, also, if you guys are not signed up for any of the stuff, everything is down in the description box below. This camera be lying to y'all. This camera be making me look like I got good skin. If it would focus, thank you. I'm gonna cut the vlog because ain't nothing else to talk about. But yeah, uh, tomorrow will hopefully be a little bit better. Oh my God, and I got a virtual happy hour with some of my friends. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Okay. All right, okay, bye. Good morning. I feel like a tractor trailer hit me. First of all, I had a really bad nightmare last night. Honestly, the worst nightmares to me are the ones that, not like they have any truth to them, but they're just weird, right? So. I had that happened. Also, woke up like at four o'clock this morning to the sound of my dog growling at the door, at the bedroom door. So just so you guys know, I sleep with my bedroom door closed, even though I live on my own. It is just something that I've always done my whole life. And so now I'm panicking because I'm like, oh my God, did someone break into my house? <laughs> no one broke into my house, thank God. Piglet had just heard someone next door coming in and so that and then also it rained and so my allergies are just a little haywire today lashes are still looking crazy but they're doing what they gotta do the lashes are lashing okay so yeah today because it's raining it is not going to be a crazy day i'm gonna just do some emails and work on some content. I have some brand new content that needs to go up by tomorrow, and so I'm gonna make sure that the brand has approved it. Oh, also, you guys probably were wondering what I'm doing. Just making some coffee. I did not own a Keurig before. I owned a regular coffee machine. You guys, the Keurig is the way to go, and that's not a sponsored suggestion. Sorry, I'm still learning how to hold this camera. That is not a sponsored suggestion. It's just the Keurig really does a great. I think the thing that I love most about it is that you don't have to do a lot. You literally just pull out your little Keurig thing and that's it. But yeah, um, I was talking about the brand stuff. So for me, what I do is even if a brand doesn't ask for it, I still always send stuff for their approval. Just because like I always think to myself, if I was paying someone a bunch of money to post about something i would want to see what they're about to post obviously they're like vetting and stuff that they've already done but i just think that it just makes you stand out a little bit more you know so oh i'm gonna do that and then that's it i have to see if my friends are still doing this virtual happy hour situation um i would love to go but also i would love to sleep but yeah very chill day nothing crazy oh later on i'll show you guys what came in the mail because I've had some packages come and I think I'm gonna shoot like an IGTV because I really want to start getting back into IGTV but I think I'll shoot a whole clip for that but I'll show you guys very quickly what I got all right so I'm gonna make my coffee which is happening right now and I'll talk to you all later so that's to record my podcast my chair squeaks so much and it really upsets me but I'm about to record my podcast for those of you guys who ever wanted to know how I record the podcast, I do it one of two ways. So I have a Yeti mic that is attached to my desk. Um, Y'all can't see. I don't want to pull it because if it start knocking things over, I'm going to be upset. But usually I record on the Yeti mic or more recently because I've been lazy. I just record in my voice notes app and then I just use my headphones, my AirPods. 
Sometimes I've used an external Rode mic, but honestly, the sound quality to me is about the same. But honestly, like that's why I always say, just do what you do. Like, you don't need a million dollar camera or, uh, you know, an expensive mic to get started. All you need is just like, the drive and the tenacity to make it happen and upgrade like it's so crazy the things that what's it called the audio and stuff that i've done when it's like on my airpods and stuff that is usually the episodes i get the most likes and i'm not saying like you guys are doing that because of the audio but what i'm saying is like so many things that we think are determinants of our success other people don't care about they just want to see the content they just want it so just put it out there okay and I'm preaching to y'all, but I'm preaching to myself because your girl I be struggling. And that's why I'm vlogging. <laughs> that is why I'm vlogging because I'm challenging myself to just not think too much and just do. So yeah, I'm going to record the podcast. Normally I try to record the podcast at least two days in advance so that I'm not rushed for time. But a lot of things were happening yesterday and I was working on a lot of other things. So I'm going to record the podcast now, work on the transcribing and the show notes later and prep that for tomorrow. And then also I had a post going up on the Blonde Misfit today that needs to go up because it's for the net a -Porte fashion sale, the summer sale. Y'all, I'm trying so hard not to shop. <sighs> I'm really, really trying here. I think a lash fell out. That's fine. I'm I'm low-key like scratching my eyes so I can get these lashes out. I should just go to the nail salon and get them done. But I don't want to go all the way over to the nail salon for my lashes if I'm not going to also get my nails done. And my nails still look good. Like, they look really good. So, I'm kind of just trying to hold out. But yeah. Oh, also. Oh, that's what I want to say. Um, sometimes you guys might see me scratching and stuff like I know no one ever thinks <laughs> no one ever thinks anything of it but like I think a lot of it but I have a really 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 bad allergies and sinuses like this time of year is tragic for me the springtime really is the worst time for me but I feel like we just it's just we just skipped over spring and we just hopped right into summer in New York but um my skin is super sensitive and so I usually can be found somewhere scratching my body <laughs> or just scratching or something. I also think it's just like a nervous tick. Like sometimes I'm not even itchy and I just scratch. So trying to work on that, trying to also not touch my face so much because I just touch my face a lot and I don't like anything touching my face and so if there's lint or if there's anything like that, like it, it blows my mind. I really just like, am like, I need to wash my face. So yeah, my nervous habits and stuff, guys, like just accept them and don't judge me. So yeah, um, the babies are with the uh, dog sitter today. Every once, I, I like to like send them out once a week, especially now that Sky is better. For those of you guys who did not know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, Sky had kidney disease and so she was pretty bad off for a few months but now she's feeling better and she's able to go out on walks and able to kind of like move around and everything like that so I dropped them off with the babysitter for the day so I really kind of can get some work done honestly when they're gone I just use that time to clean my house because otherwise while I'm cleaning they're just following me and I'm just like bro back up like can mommy pee on her by herself can she do this can she do that so with them gone I'm gonna use this time to kind of do some home organization clean my bathroom pick up in my room and everything like that oh but later on tonight I'm gonna show you guys um, a few things that I recently bought uh, because since I'm not trying to shop for June, I might as well just revel in the things that I got that are coming in. It's like Christmas all the time. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go record this podcast episode before it gets late. Okay.
heading to brunch. It is still raining and gross. And so just got this little hoodie on that I found at Marshall's and my Naruto shirt underneath. Go keep it real chill today. Yeah, my outfit today is super simple. It's got these, the black leggings on, the running shoes, and Gucci bag. Cause I just wanted to swap out the Kate Spade for a little bit. But it's cool, it's real chill. Also, these earrings that I did pick up from Marshalls, they got them for me. I'm not like, when it comes to earrings especially, um, I want to buy some good, high quality gold hoops, but it's really hard to find because I guess like the more lux or whatever they get, the smaller the hoops. But I'm like, I want ghetto girl hoops and I want like real gold. So. Until I find a good option for that, um, I'm fine with getting these more affordable options at the department store. They totally fine. They've worked for me my whole life. Y'all you know, already know my favorite earrings come from the beauty supply store. So I like these. Like I like the detail. Like the it's a little bit. It actually has a little weight on it, um, but it's not just like a skinny hoop. It's like a nice, nice size hoop. So yeah. Also. My lashes are still holding up really well. You guys know at first I wasn't a fan. I feel like they were too full, so I'll know next time to get natural, more like of a natural look, but I do like the length. The only thing is that um, I have to wear my glasses lower because when I push my glasses up on, my, on the bridge of my nose, I don't know if you guys can see that, but like these lashes right here on this eye actually hit my glasses and so, I can't wear them. So I actually have to bring my glasses down a little lower. So I don't know how I'm gonna fix that, but I'm gonna fix it. Cause I gotta obviously wear my glasses. <laughs> They're not like a style accessory. I actually need them to see, but yeah. All right, so that's it. Heading to lunch, brunch, some. <laughs> Yeah, guys, starting June 1st, not spending money anymore, ever again. I have to, honestly, I gotta stop spending money. A um, couple of business things I want to do, end of like, January, February, March, April, May, June. End of June is then end of Q2, so I need to really make sure that everything is fully strapped up. Go into Q3 and Q4 for success with the Blonde Misfit, so yeah gonna require a lot of focus yeah, but in the meantime I love these wine glasses so big I would put everything here juice I'll put my communion juice in here this is so fabulous oh. I was just gonna show y'all I'm cooking don't mind my strawberries I use these for my smoothie but um, for dinner, I got the chicken out and some asparagus. And I've already done my mashed potatoes and they're in the refrigerator. So I'm going to do like a baked chicken with sauteed asparagus and mashed potatoes. I think that's what I'm gonna do for dinner. Okay, they're my light go. Kinda, sorta, I don't know. Also, you've noticed I've taken my hair down. I don't like styles for too long because once my hair starts to look a little frizzy, I just wanna take it down and kind of like refresh it also like my scalp itches sometimes like in the middle of my head so I like to take it down but I had this styling for two weeks so I'll be able to keep my hair for probably a good another two weeks or so as long as I don't over sweat or anything like that but yeah like my hair is getting long see I don't want to go down too low because I don't got no pants on <laughs> but yeah these is this is my my hair guys those boxes are still there I'm gonna get them I'm gonna take them down. The babies will be back from daycare soon. I have to use this this time very sparingly, very quickly to get everything done that I need to get done. So, gonna prep the chicken, gonna take the boxes out, and by then it'll be time to hop on my little Zoom call with my friends. Hey y'all, today's Friday, and I'm just not having a good day. I have the golden Oreos with some milk. I'm just gonna eat that to soothe my woes. You ever have those days when like you don't know what's wrong? Actually, it's like I kind of know what's wrong. But I can't do anything about it, so. I shot a little quick, 
unboxing video that I'm gonna edit today if not tomorrow and that's why I have a lip balm also I need to do a haul like um what I've recently got haul because I've gotten a lot of things if it sounds loud in here it's because my windows open but I don't want to close it because it's that I have one of those floor ACs that like it has to vent out but girl it'll be loud as hell in here I don't know this is just one of those times and days where I have to remind myself the hard work will pay off because I just don't feel it right now mm. anywho I have dinner reservation in an hour and a half so I'm gonna eat these cookies and no more finish work and get ready to go I'm gonna take y'all with me of course but yeah maybe getting out the house for a little bit will make me feel better so because it was a lot of questions finished eating I did have one drink but that was because I've had this really bad headache all day y'all saw me earlier I was just not happy the drink did help I don't know what it is about alcohol like when you have bad headaches I'm just research because it's like why does like ibuprofen alcohol or caffeine like why do they do something for you anywho I'm about to go back home and do some video editing and do some work because we gotta get this hustle on. Oh, it was nice to step out for a little bit. I wish it night didn't have to end. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Hey y'all. So it is Saturday night. I'm back home and kind of just doing some small things for the rest of the week but I promised y'all that I would show y'all what I got while I went thrifting and I wanted to do that real quick and I think that that'll be a good way to end the vlog so um if you're in New York you already know all about L Train Vintage if you don't it is like a conglomerate of different vintage thrift shops or whatever so this is all thrifted um I used to thrift a lot years ago but just I don't know just kind of outgrew it a little bit but then also it's kind of hard to find things when you're plus size um but you still can find really really good things and so i'm going to show you guys what i got so the first thing i got is probably my favorite thing in this whole entire little haul and it is this coach bag like this it has a little bit of wear and tear here on this part of the suede but it's totally fine because you can just take it to um like a shoe repair person or a purse repair person and they can clean it I could also probably clean it myself, but I don't know how to clean and DIY anything, so I'll just pay someone else to do it. Um, the straps are still good, nice and solid. Like, whoever had this purse definitely used it, but didn't use it a lot. The inside of it is beautifully clean. I don't even think you guys can see that, but no scratches, no spills, no nothing. Um, and yeah, I just think that it's so pretty. Ah! Like, you can find a similar coach bag like this right now on the coach website. And I just like that it just has all of the different prints. It almost looks like it was, it, they took like the scraps of different bags and they just put it all together. And I just think this cool. Like this was like a regular outfit. You could do an all black fit. You could just do whatever. Your outfit could be really basic, but this just kind of adds a little something to it. And y'all already know Coach is having a moment. Everyone's been like talking about the revitalization of the brand. I think that it's amazing. And, um, this was originally $20, but I actually got it for a coupon, with a coupon or something. So I think I only paid like $12 for it. So $12 for a coach bag that like I'm seeing other ones on the website right now for like $253, $350. Steal. Next, this isn't anything fun or fancy. I just got a pair of mom jeans. They look like this. Um, these are Kirkland and they are in a size a 36 waist and I am I don't know maybe a 33 34 so what how I actually envision this is cuffing the bottom a little bit and then actually wearing this like high-waisted with a belt honestly if you have a belt all, that's all you need I mean for five bucks I have a whole new pair of shorts and I just think they're great and perfect because it is getting really 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 hot in New, in New York I think I said it earlier in the vlog but it's like 90 degrees today and anyone who live who has been in New York during the summer knows it is Next, I picked up this really cute top. Honestly, I love tops like this from the thrift store. 
and I don't think that I, I would prefer to get them from somewhere like a thrift store instead of spending two, three, four times the price at a department store. But it is just this really pretty floral. It's just this really pretty green and blue floral top. It looks like this. Um, it does have shoulder pads, but I always take the shoulder pads out. And the back just has like this little button detail, you know, very simple. I would just take the shoulder pads out and honestly, something like this, just put it with the shorts, tuck it in, you know, or you can wear it out if you want more of like a formal look, but like this is just something super simple. This with like a, I don't know, so maybe like nude sandals or something I think would be really cute. And it's very simple and honestly, it's also work appropriate. So they have started talking about like the return to work policy here. So I've uh, like with my job and everything. So I'm trying to take into account things that I can wear now, but things that I also will be able to wear when I get back into the office. So yeah, <sighs> hate fireworks. People be going off on the fireworks all year round around here, yeesh. Okay, so you guys already know that tie-dye is a huge, huge thing and everyone wears tie-dye stuff. I'm not the biggest tie-dye girl, but I was like, you know what, let me just give it a try. And so I just picked up this super simple top with six bucks um, and it's a cute kind of like strawberry lemonade kind of vibe. Obviously it's wrinkled because I have it folded, but like I can just see this with like some cute cutoffs and it's a very simple summer outfit. Nothing, nothing too crazy with this, but I thought it was cute. Next, I got this skirt. This is a size 18, so I am gonna have to get it tailored, but it also, let me just show you guys this skirt first. So it is this. I obviously love it because it's pleated and it has like this cool giraffe print. I love these. Honestly, if I wanted to get silly with it, or not silly, but like if I wanted to really get creative, I could probably wear this as like a top like this that would go around. If not, I can also just have this tailored to fit my waist. Um, it does have inserts here for where a belt could go and probably where a belt was included with this. So I could also try to belt this and see if it adds something and maybe it'll just give me more of like an A-line cut. But I absolutely love the material. Um, it's super soft and I just think that this is cute great for the summertime and you know you can dress it up or dress it down definitely a work staple next I just got two scarves I have been so funny thing is that like I used to wear scarves all the time and then I just stopped and then now scarves are back and everyone's wearing scarves so everything like I'm seeing I'm on Gucci I see them with coach they're just like an easy accessory to pair with all your stuff and so I picked up two scarves one is in this brown, white, and pink kind of prints. Like, look how gorgeous that is. And look how big it is, too. Also, I don't know if you guys have been seeing, but people have been taking scarves like this and using them as, like, creating tops. You know, like, the tops that go like that. Um, I'm not necessarily... Okay, I would try it. <laughs> I would try it. I definitely want a, enough, a scarf that has enough material because, look, your girl, she ain't, she ain't small, okay? But, um... I think something like this could be cute. You could also take it and just like, you know, obviously do like a headband situation. You could do it around, a, like I like to use my scarves and put it up on top when I have a high ponytail, but you also could take this and tie it around your bag or something like that to just add a little bit of an accent. So that was the first scarf. The second scarf is much, much more simpler. It's just this dark cobalt blue scarf with this floral detailing and I liked it because it was super simple again I would put this with ponytail or just as a simple accent piece but like I love the dark blue and I just think that it's really cute and it was simple and both of those together were five dollars and last but certainly not least I know some people probably will not like these but just follow the vision okay so I love Versace and I, I actually like a lot of Italian brands that are like more in your face and bright and bold and colorful. And so when I saw these shorts, they reminded me of Versace just because of like the whole sailor kind of like glam thing. And it's these shorts, which first of all, I thought was a skirt. But as I pulled them apart, I realized, no, they're actually shorts. So <laughs> I want to actually wear these maybe with a silk top, high-waisted. Um, they do have pockets. Maybe I can even put one of the scarves with it. And I think that these would look so cool. Now the thing is, I would actually pair these with my Versace earrings. I don't know, you guys haven't seen them yet. Unless you follow me on Instagram. Um, I recently talked about my Medusa earrings that I purchased. This is what they look like. 
Oh my God, how gorgeous. Um, and I just think that that would be so sick. Like a nice like little gold number, you know, maybe this with a, like a little halter top situation or something like that. Like I know other people don't see the vision, but I see the vision. So I'm just gonna have to show you guys. So you'll have to just look on my Instagram because at some point I will style them. And these were six bucks, so can't beat it. Okay guys, so that is the rest of my little haul. That is the wrap on my first vlog. <laughs> I know like I'm not probably the most exciting person ever but like there's really like not much to do and no one's going anywhere and when it gets hot like this like who's going anywhere but we'll see if you guys like the vlog definitely make sure that you leave your comments down below make sure you also have subscribed to the YouTube channel and I will see you all in the next one cool bye